It also makes my cheeks jiggle from joy hearing about it. Do you all agree, my delightful friends? I notice all of you all regrouped, which I am indeed grateful for, and I'm sorry to wake you up so early in the morning where it's still black as sky out. But tomorrow is going to be a very fascinating day because now we need to finally put our focus aside from the eggs and actually deal with the real matters at hand. I think you mean this morning. Who cares about you, Scribe? So, I decided to deal with every final, tiny little detail of an issue today, if we are to end this for good! First thing I want to finally clarify, I'm addressing the little incident with my dad. What I did was not true. He had no evidence to back that up whatsoever. And another little variable to it, Corporal had to be forced to say these things just so I could be put on a bad pedestal. And it was actually clarified from Professor that he had no memory even recalling what I did was bad. And he obviously did it in a malicious way just to make me look bad, to dethrone me from all the years of sacrifice that I've worked so hard just to be king of this island. My duty as a king is to be an inspiring and great leader. But for the last couple of days, my duty has not been the same. They've become shackles, chained away into the darkness, forced to serve the madman that is my father, who will be up being king within the next week or so. That's why before he's awake today, I need to finally clarify something with all of you. When we're done against this war, against that purple, ugly bird, I need you all to do some high research on the advent of the extraordinary. Do you understand me? Uh, yes, King, I do understand. Oh, we will find something dirty on my dad, that's for damn sure, but it won't be this day. There's other matters to attend to, and it's finally time I start going down that little list, if you will. First, let's talk about the three dumbatiers. We have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> Somebody like you would say that. You're a pathetic excuse for a king. I haven't eaten in the last two days, and I'm starting to starve. Oh, what a Silence! Make me do it! I will give you a snap on the side! Do you understand me? It's not worth it, buddy! Please, calm down! No! My elbow will be done! Silence! I'm actually really glad you brought up your album. I found something out about our little trader here. This little marshmallow had an album of his own. I believe it's called Hair. No, you better not play Oh my god, game. King, I would appreciate it if you play this clip. No! Please do it! No! You can't do this, King! No. You don't understand this one! No. Very bad. <laughs> oh, it's real, and it's very much happening. Saya, do you know what this means? Oh my god! He actually played it! He actually played that it! That was holy! Uh, what, what have you done? Uh, it means that song was a beacon. A beacon? What? It means there's a lot more to piggy lives than the eye may seem. So this means we need to do a clearance check on every other pig to show what they've been doing and not funding their rows. Actually, that's exactly the case. 
It means our dear bunny friend here has been writing music rather than actually putting his job first and trying to get the AIDS. This is before he was silent. No! You freak! Thank you, my darling. Anyway, this means the month before Bunny was supposed to go after the eggs again, before he was even captured by that psychopath shit, he was writing music when he shouldn't have. That's why even before he raided the flock, I knew there was something wrong with him in the first place. And for that, due to Chronicler not really being a judge at this moment, I'm declaring his sentence. Wait, what's it gonna be? Now this shall be interesting, don't you think? Yes. You do know you bother oh. me, right? I kind of want to know who you really oh, are. Oh, you win. Under that blue skin. Sire, if I were you, I'd be extremely careful with the sentence you're about to give. Yes, this could decide the fate of the entire kingdom. We come back from the lab and now we have to deal with this? Sentencing the people? Seems so. Yeah, there's always something new on this island. Exactly, exactly. Wait, stop, hold on. Before I give out that little sentence, uh, HL, my friend, um, one of the pigs needs assistance with stocking up on supplies for tomorrow. Well, you see, uh, Grand Inquisitor kind of needs you to go hunt down any other remaining flock members for the evening, just to be sure we don't have any surprises when we raid Gale. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't care where the hell you go, as long as it's not in this moment, right here, right now, or in my vicinity, so get the hell out of here. Let's go. Bunny will be getting... The life penalty. Wait, what? Hold on, did you, you mean the life getting penalty? life in prison? How? For music? What Bunny did was bad, yes, but life penalty? Yeah, really? I, I, I thought he was going to get off after a couple of years. Are you sure this is smart? More uh, people might leave You know, it could this. be the death penalty, so... More people could leave for this. You do know that, right? I'm already aware of the fact, all right? Please be quiet for a sec. This is where his story sadly ends. Now, for the next beginning. I'm Let's go! go. Let's go! No, I'm Let's go. go. I'm not. No! Do it! No! Sign it! I don't like you! This is for the press! You are the one! I need assistance! Oh. He's too strong! Uh, He's too strong! Uh, uh, Come on! Uh, 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 Very well then. No. Grab my legs! Grab my ears! Oh. <laughs> Get him out of here now! There was five people, including you, holding him. My gosh, you know what? He's gone, it's dealt with. I need to move on to mailman. Now, there's only so much time we need left to handle. The fact that, that you weren't even able to Silence, who asked for your opinion? How I, strong is even this guy? I need to rest. I thought he was just a bunny on this island. I didn't know he went through boxing and training. But anyways, well, I told just... you that his eyes were closed the entire time while he was doing it. <laughs> Are you saying he was sleeping? Yes. So it's just a body reaction? Yes. <laughs> Where's my darling mailman? <sighs> Screw this kingdom. It's already fallen apart the moment Smoochie's decided to get smart again with his gold form. Oh, the flock are definitely going to be knowing everything about this, including Stella's friends. Where the heck did he go? I have no idea. Like, Corporal, were you keeping an eye on him? I, uh, I strangely finally remember you being yeah, the one. Me, me and Jingo were watching him, but <gasps> now he's you gone. Goofed, you goofed up again, didn't you? Ah, shoot. Did you make a little mistake? Uh, it was more on Django the sign. Oh, you did. Uh, Get out of my sight. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, what? The snake's already awful. Sorry, we need to start getting to the point right now, because it seems like we're going around in circles. What are the real matters we need to be discussing here, huh? Prentice, let the child speak. Corporal, by the time you're done recruiting Jabba the Hutt, uh, I want you in the middle of the night tonight, before we go out to invade Gale's army, I need you at 3 a.m. to shine my cheeks, and by tomorrow morning, I expect them to look like mirrors. Cheeks shining. Shine, shine the cheeks. <laughs> Cheek shining. That's a horrible punishment. That is horrible. Extremely horrible. But it's not as bad as what Bunny Pig just got.
<sighs> You're absolutely right. We're getting nowhere right now. I need everybody to disperse and follow up to their actions, okay? We only have 24 hours to get all this done by the time we invade Gale's army. Let's go! Wait, but then what about generic? I'll decide a sentencing tomorrow after I'm done invading Gale's army. There's only so many problems I can handle at once. Not to be mean, sire, but you really have exactly. no problems right now. It's just what about this? the prince? That's still something that needs to be covered. I heard, and this came from Professor Pig too. I heard that Monty and Mechanic had a talk with him. Oh so well, that's good. Hey, he that shouldn't clear up your mind. He's doing a lot more better, and sire, he does intend on speaking with you later this morning. Well, that's good. Hey, at least I need one win today. Come on, let's go. Come on, we only got four hours to get all this done. All right. By tomorrow, we're all screwed. Reggie, I have a very special assignment for you. <laughs> Old friend, what would that be? <laughs> well, um, I need you to finally locate the base where Gale's queen is. Oh, so it's just like the good old days? Travel and search? Travel and search, Reggie. Oh, and bring General 3, Alien, and Frozen with you. You're that squirt, you're coming with me. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry to say. I'm coming with you? Why? Because I need a dummy to be with me. Oh, 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 Just okay. in case the things get out of control. Come on, let's go. Come on. Okay, okay. okay. Come on. Can someone tell me exactly why? Oh, uh, you're actually going to be coming with me. Come on, let's go. I need experiments with me. What, why, though? No one really... Was Listen, able... I'll follow up on it in a little bit now. Come on, let's go. Remember, General 3, don't be like to advise. You. you have a duty to I attend. Let's go. Okay, okay, guys, guys, come on, come on. We can't screw this up. It's kind of important. If we get caught, we're done, okay? Aren't you the one that's always a coward? I'm not a coward. I don't even know who you are. Big Bork, while we're going to be going off to go fight Gale, I need you to go after the flock and aid Hambo. Prince, what about Hambo? You will be our final chance on getting the ace for a long time. I don't know, do you really think one pig can take down the whole flock? You've been by my side since this war first started in the first place. That's why I intend on giving you your armor for free. Oh, for real? I don't have to pay that one thousand It's compensation. Oh, huh, that's a relief, because I was getting worried I would have to take it off my brother. Oh, congrats. Go back to the satellite tower. What are you even doing here? It should be by the gates if you want to go head out right now. Oh, how lovely is that? I need you two to go find something dirty on my father, ASAP. Sire, we've already tried to go through that. His record's been squeaky clean ever since the early days of this kingdom. Professor, my old friend, there's actually the one thing which I don't think we should be discussing here. Wait, that? I don't know what that's going to do if we reveal that to the kingdom, but we're going to need to go into the dark and deep vaults of this kingdom. <laughs> well, color me impressed. This is an extraordinarily weapon we can use against my father. Something even more stronger than the eggs, if you will. That must be hidden away, dark and deep into the boots. I must use on the utmost need. Well, judging by your words, it does sound pretty important, so I'm gonna get up on it Im immediately, sire. If I were you, I'd go rekindle your, uh, sonship with your son. Uh, good luck on the war, sire! Okay, next variable. Corporal, foreman! Now, what do you no, want, King? Do. Yes, sire? Rupert, why are you here? I'm interested in this conversation. Good question, tactician. Why are you here? I decided to get pulled out of retirement because I am interested to see how the turrets of war will turn out. Well, as long as you tell us more about yourself while we go recruit Java, that's good enough. Yeah. Oh, I will. Well, you answered the secret math answer right there. Yes, go recruit Java. Go bring another pig with you. General One, come on. Oh, I'm going to be with them too? Yes, you stupid, love brain piece of trash. What about them, though? No, you plum. This is good and all, but where do you want Ball, me exactly? Ballard, stay with me. Come on. Uh, okay, King. Come on, cheeks need shining. Courtney and Gary, can you please go get in contact with Baraki real quick? I need him here. Yes, Saya. <laughs> uh, Corn, please. Go away, Corporal. Uh, yes, Sire, but did you hear the news about more of our infantry joining Gale's queendom? Been waiting for someone to mention that. Yeah, yes, I more people am just aware, joined. And that is going to be taken care of. We should not talk about Gale right now underneath my premises. Thank you. Go on, shoot! 
actually speaking of that, Sire, where do you want me to be at? Skull Corporal, you stupid bubblegum piece of trash that obviously watches Avengers Who's gonna watch when he the shouldn't. Go! Satellite Towers, because I know if okay, I'm Okay, we'll go through the Satellite Towers! But you want me to be with Corporal, so I need one answer. You're... My brain's not meant to process this. Now please, get out of here. Okay, fine. Satellite Towers it is. Somebody get Dear Generic out of here. I still have to give him a sentencing. The only reason you're ever this fundamentally stupid and horrible is because you lost your wife to a bird. You know what I'm saying about Django? Why don't you beat him down for me as he's going to prison? Now! Get him out of here! Immediately! You don't understand! You're a fool of a king! You don't even know how to rule a kingdom! This get him out! Get him out! I am a wife! No. I am a kid! Please. Palpatine, please, uh, move your Sith Lords or whatever to a different location because I really need some thoughts to myself right now. ODA is having one of these moments. We need to go now. Sorry, are, are you sure you're okay? Now this shall be interesting. There are so many secrets here, it even baffles me. Actually, hold on, wait, you. Guy in the hoodie. Please go follow Corporal. Yes. My master. Anyway, uh, anybody else? I'm terribly sorry that I'm late, but what about me, Sire? Oh, my dear and Sonny Leonard, I don't know what you've been eating, but you definitely bulked up compared to Liver King. Now, please, go take a walk. With prejudice, Sire. King, King, oh, King! What's going on? Uh, Toy, you're here. King, are you okay? I, I, I'm sorry. Have another one of your moments or something? Uh, it was nothing. I, I, I thought I saw you're something. You're not. I watched that. You're I thought I saw out. something. I'm having them again, aren't I? Having what? Hallucinations. I just, I need to go rest right now. I need sleep. There's only oh, wait, four wait, hours. I, I was here. I had to talk about a few things with you. What is a toy? I preferred it if you call me boy, not toy. But also, we need to talk about two things. What? What did uh, you want to speak about? About two things. The first thing being about the court trial. I want to hear things from you personally. And the second thing being about this afternoon, actually. When things, when the boy, sun comes boy, up. Boy, 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 son. Listen. You want to... It's not an easy topic, all right? Well, what happened at the trial? I'm getting mixed sides from everyone, and I think I'll feel better if I just hear it from you. I know you're trying to change. It just took me a while to realize that. Boy, let's have a talk. Son, follow me. It's finally time I explain everything that has happened in the last year. I think this conversation is long overdue. Many years ago, and I'm talking before even Corporal was promoted the role Corporal. I got married to your mother. She was the finest woman I've ever met. This is after uh, my father finally gave up his kingship. This is around the time where I was a lot skinnier than you, to be honest, boy. Small Fry was the nickname they gave me. Eventually, I wanted to have a peaceful kingdom with your mother at my side. She suggested the idea that we get rid of weapons for good and we start a treaty with the birds. I thought of it as a delusional idea, but eventually I caved in because I don't want to disrespect your mother now, do I? So I tried to make a treaty. We went to Birdie Island and we finally discussed the uh, specifics on what we want to happen so that way we don't need to go to war anymore. One bird though, however, 
set something off, and that's when the Great Pig War began. Wait, King, what Boy, we need to go this? discuss this somewhere else, all right? I haven't went into the thick of it yet. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go to the Kingdom Courtyard, all right? I think you very much want to hear this. Eventually, that bird decided the Great Pig War, and that's when everything went to the crapper with this kingdom. I let out some of the worst men to aid us during this war. That being who exactly? I worked with criminals from Hatch from the Outer Regions all the way to Muscular Pig of Goliath Peak. What? You work with them? I had to work with some of the most horrible people just to win this disgusting war. My wife didn't agree to the idea, and she wanted to try a more peaceful approach to the whole situation. Before we did that, however, we decided to have you. Mm. Really? And my God, thank Lord I didn't lose you. She went to Birdie Island to think of a peace treaty on how we can stop fighting and how we can reach a peaceful agreement. There were seven birds with us. They were agreeing to the terms. We almost even stamped the approval to end this war for good. Until one bird in particular ruined everything. Who was this bird? You know him too well. George J. Cardinal. Wait, the Cardinal with the black hat? The sinner of the four islands. The madman of Birdie Island. Yes, him. I was fighting some birds once he decided to screw everything up. And the minute I found my wife, she was lying there, deceased. And George Cardinal was there, sweating from what he did. That broke my heart to see my wife there. Wait, George Cardinal killed your wife? This is darker than I ever would expect. Yes, yes, he, he, he was there. It broke my heart that day having to fight him. I never knew what his fate was until present day. Why would he just randomly execute your wife with no, like no reason at all if she was doing something nice, positive? Uh, the, the details are jumbled up from what I know, but I know it was him. Anyway, after she sadly passed away due to the fact that George took care of it, we, uh, we were in a sad state with the kingdom. I fell into a depressive state, I gained weight, and I decided that I could no longer have an heir of this kingdom. I thought it would be wise if Corporal were to put you into an orphanage. That way you can have a normal, easy life. Raise a wife, have kids. Don't worry about the pressures and shackles of this kingdom. I got rid of you so you can have a normal life, a normal childhood. You wouldn't have to worry about me. You wouldn't have to worry about AIDS. You wouldn't have to worry about anything. And boy, since this day, things have gotten worse and worse because of that cardinal. He's ruined everything. Everything we've worked so hard to build. I know in some of my beginning years, I was a buffoon to you. I used to have a goofy voice. But boy, I'm doing this to protect you. I'm doing this because I love you. That's why as a king of this kingdom, I want to atone for what I've done. I know you hate me, but please, please forgive me. Let me be a better father to you, Ross. And that's why as father and son, I want both of us to take down Gale together. King, you, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Did I never I'm sorry, this? boy. I never meant for this to happen. I'm so sorry. I... Let's just sit out here and look at the early morning. Okay, we're on a trip to try to My recruit a God, you're loud. Darn right! Corporal, I am curious about this. I don't know, but we gotta be fast, Rupert. I'm asking, who exactly is this Java? Actually, Corporal, well, good question. Who exactly is Java? Java the Hutt. He is one of the most popular crime lords on this island. Popular? To be honest, I actually didn't know we had crime lords on the island. Well, he's one of the most highest ones. 
People and say, how exactly do you know this? Do my research, General One. I'm surprised you don't know either. Anyway, he is very big personality. Wait, what do you mean by that? You'll see for yourself. Wait, Corporal, I don't want to be rude, but is this going to be a problem? Uh, no, 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 it won't be a problem. The uh, Smoochie sent us here, we have to do what he says. It's going to be fine. Just, I recommend it just be us three going in. The less visitors, the better. <laughs> exactly why is that? Tell me! Like unicorn is not what you like. So if you saw someone like you, a person that grows crops, he will not make any deal with us. He hates those type of people. Oh, my feelings are hurt. Also, corn, not to be the bear of bad news, but why are you so big? We never really got the You're solid. Due to me getting my promotion, I've been gaining weight as a sign of respect. Trust me, you don't want that. Oh, okay. Okay, make a deal with this, Jabba. Before anything, what about you? Get over here. Just standing there like some creep, not even doing anything. I've made a deal with him once in the past. He's not the type of visitor that would just listen to you. Exactly why are you making me follow you? Uh, my dear friend. I don't think our associate knows who you are. Perhaps if you give a name, that could be more educational. Mole. Oh my god, I found that. <laughs> um, you know what? Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rupert, you're coming with me. Of course. Running will get you nowhere. So, tell me about yourself. If it makes you feel better, before I even ended up in this frozen state, I used to be a masterful tactician until this one ice comet came crashing down. Next thing you know, I turned blue. And then, a couple weeks later, I eventually find out that this ice comet was, in fact, patient zero from this failure of a technician, Hector. Men like that have nowhere in our new kingdom. All of his efforts are going to be failing. Now, I must focus. Very well, then. I think I'm going to have a little, uh... Snack while I'm at it. Right, I, I'm really nervous. Shh, 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 shh. You're gonna wanna be quiet because this guy is not looking at the like slowness, okay? Uh, uh, okay. You're being loud. Come on, General One, let's go. I can't believe I'm doing this. I cannot believe I'm doing this. If I get executed today, it's gonna be on you. You're not gonna get executed. What is that? What is that machine? Oh, is that a septic tank? Quiet! Let's go. Ahem! <clears throat> Jabba the Hutt! This is Corporal Pig here with Foreman and General One. You disturb me when I'm emptying my tank. I don't mind the when people do that. Jabba, we gave you to give you an offer. What's so funny, Corporal? Oh god, we're gonna die or become servant. Shh! What's with the scared friend of you about here? I don't like scared pigs all that much. You know what I make then. Uh, uh, uh. Man up. Man up okay, yes. Java, we come here with an offering. You've come here and disturbed me during my slumber, and you want an offer. And what is this offer exactly? You do know I have a business to run. I don't have time for slow slogs like you getting in my way. Shut up! Plumpy one, you do know I heard that, right? Before anything, I'm gonna want a treat. Poor man, the treat. Oh, Give yes, him the, the treat. treat. Uh, here you go. Oh, Hershey. Oh, that says zero sugar. Absolutely don't! Poor man! Oh, no, I don't! He's so smart. Okay, stop yelling at me! I'm kind of losing interest in you guys. Okay, 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 Java, 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 listen. Uh, we need to discuss a plan. Smoochie's is heading out for war tonight! 
Oh, so that's why you named me. Because yes, that's we're going to war with another king guy. Do you know who Gale is? Have you heard about the stuff going on? Hard thing I know for team. If you want my help, I'm sorry, but they're not getting it. What? Now, sweetie, bring me the chips. I hate this business! You know, if Greedo was here, you guys would be gone by now. It's sad that he isn't present. Listen, we know all about Garrido. He got arrested lately, okay? His trial is coming up soon. To be honest, he probably will be not guilty. Also, why is Karen here? We need her on our I side. I got into some bad business. Karen, if that's her name, is one of my many servants for this business. Or what we call this empire business she works for. Java, what is the deal we can make you right now so that you can give us the weapons that we need to go up against Gale? Because right now, we should be after the fuck right now because we don't even know what they're doing. But right now, we're putting all of our focus on a rivaling kingdom. There's already too much stuff here that's been thrown to madness. Please, Chavas, give us your hand in this. Don't want me to come on the authorities. Boy, I am the authority. Now listen. I could get you arrested within the snap of a snout. And it's kind of obvious. We know what's behind that door. The Rancor. That goes against the Limac Penal Code. You do know that, right? And obviously, you've been doing illegal business. We just haven't been that much focused on you because we have other duties that we work on. If the Yags weren't a thing, you'd be behind bars, struggling like a little slog. So, Java, what's your choice? Nine. Oh my god, Corporal! No, 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 don't click! Don't click. Do not click. Hold on. Come on! Come on! What are you doing? I've been waiting for a month to get out of here. Now that my signals are here, I'm done. You have nothing on us. You don't know how to fight or anything. You're oh, pissed. Oh, okay, very well then. Mom, get in here. Uh, maybe in a second time, I'll consider your offer. I'm definitely not the movie. Executed With sugar on top? Cool. I think this calls for a fair trade. Uh, it was a pleasure doing business with you, Hot. So, what exactly do you need from me? Weapons? Soldiers? My own help? What is it you need? Bombing honey? What is it? You need weapons and cannons. Oh, well, I can't run full stock of that. I'm glad you asked. This is how you do negotiation. Okay, everybody, we have a schedule to uphold, and I tend to keep it that way. Come on, chop, chop. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. I come out after years, and this is what I find. Stop your complaining. Just hurry yeah, up. Yeah, enough. You experiments disgust me. Why are we even with you? I have to keep you all on a leash. Honest to God, for me, I could have done this stuff. I heard Hector... Oh, 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 oh. oh you're I heard Hector was a... Uh, was a what? what he was about? the guy that kind of experimented on you, is that correct? Yes, that's oh, true. Oh, God, that mad doctor. He's never going to stop, I realize. His ego and pride could literally bring down this kingdom. Hurry up. Come on. I'm taking too long. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> like I said, babysitting. All right, guys, hurry up. Ah, uh, so it's in the southern islands oh, of this island. Oh, look at that. What do you see? We found it. Somebody repel the alien up. Here, come on. What do you see up there? Oh. Oh. You say you have the better eyesight? Oh. For God's sake, come on. You guys are acting worse than children. You're supposed to be a general, so actually do your freaking job instead of being an utter coward. You know what? He's right. You're going to go on top of him. You're going to go on top. And I'm going to go on less. I... Ow. Oh, perfect view. What is it? What do you see? I see betrayers and I see hell. Well, I see that handsome freak. Is, there, is that a gold pig? That's a gold pig. I see some of our men. Uh, what happened? Uh, what was that one's name? Philip? Yeah, that was... Philip! He's there. Is that that striper with the big bug eyes they've been Wait, talking what? about? What? Chip! Ah, he... uh, the queen's there. Gale. Many other pigs are there too. Don't recognize half of them though. All right, everybody, listen up. We have a tight schedule to keep up. So here's what we're gonna be doing. Within the next two days or so, we're gonna be amassing more forces than we can possibly imagine, okay? Because I realize 
all the people that have sacrificed for this old kingdom has finally gone to waste. That is why I intend on getting as much people here as possible. Remember where we found you all? In a gutter. Huh, the yeah, commander here speaks know. the truth. That's about right. Keep on preaching, brother. I have a question for you. Please, what would that be? Why do you have that striped bird on your... I oh, yes, it's best not to talk about it. That's a story for a different day. Oh boy, now this is absolutely fascinating. Uh, what are you doing oh, here? Oh, honey, I'm oh, home. Shush, 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 shush. You're making me look what? bad. Okay, what did you say what? you had for me? Huh? Shaman, you're supposed to be keeping an eye on smooth cheeks. I'm going after the flock. Well, plans change now, don't they? Okay, other region, we get it. Now, can you please leave? I'm having a headache right now, and I do not feel that well at all. A headache? Oh, no, that sounds different. Ah, uh, that shaman pig, can you please just keep it down? Oh, you want me to keep it down? I understand oh, that. I understand my. that. Do you want me to talk uh, like this? Yep. Ah, uh, handsome, take care of it. Listen, shaman. Smoochie is probably plotting something right now, and we're all screwed if he finds out what we're all doing. So can you please be a darling, and please go keep an eye on them. I'm begging you. You're creeping everybody Do out. It. Listen to his Very words. well, then. A good Listen truth is an honest words. truth. Ta-ta! No! And remember, if my information gets out, I won't hesitate to stitch on y'all. <clears throat> oh, I totally forgot how much intoxicating that is. In the meantime, Timmy, is there a special topic you wish to discuss with the class? The strain on that. There's a special ability I've been meaning to try. Ooh, did you hear that? Timmy has a special ability. Probably even more special than yours, Gold Pig. Uh, I guess we'll wait and see what it is. Yep, you're darn right we are. Okay, next trooper. Is his hair always that big? Okay, can you just please just keep it quieter? Don't you look at that <laughs> sunshine on me. Yeah. And how does that make you a special snowflake? Because I am. Uh, uh, okay. I am the mastered okay, one. Okay, you're creeping me out. Remember, I'm the mastered one. Philip, we go way back, you and I, and I know we both have a hatred towards Ross. And tell me, what is your opinions with that? Last time I was with Ross, he was acting like a bratty child. He's not fit to be a ruler. Yes, you're right. We both have a hatred towards that stupid, idiotic excuse of a prince. In fact, I actually fought him uh, not so while back. Uh, what are your thoughts, though, with our lovely queen, however? I see a narrow future ahead with Gale's gold. Yes, yes, that's absolutely true. You're officially on board. Welcome to the queendom. Earmuff stole my position that damn fool. We're only two days in. You sure this is the right course of action, Ghost? I'm pretty sure it's the right action. Of course. The king failed all of us. He hasn't been paying for any of our jobs lately. We've been going under liquidation. I can agree with you there, but I think we're going to have a better time here. I've been a good Patreon for this. Listen, listen, listen. Instead of just sulking about the past, how about you look forward to the future? Be here. Mm. Well, with Gale, I actually do see yes. some sort of future. I do. I, I do, too. My only question is, what are you going to do if Smoochie finds out? He's not going to find out because we're going to leave the minute he arrives. Boys, you don't need to worry about that fat elf now, do you? I don't know why, but my cheeks are feeling red. Hey, yo. Calm down, man. I wonder if we can try to get more supporters for this queendom. It's true. Oh my god. Oh, what's wrong? We are screwed. What do you see? What happened? Pumpkin Pig and Ghost Pig joined us. What? Ah! Must made some noise. You probably heard that now. Oh, shoot! Of course. Oh, that explains how he got so much men. Come on, it's, please stay calm. They're gonna hear us. We're gonna be screwed. We're gonna get captured. Listen, if we know that our own men have been working right alongside Gale, we need to get back now. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm heading out. Me too. Well, if you guys want to head out, then I guess you guys could. But I feel like we should watch this a little bit longer. Listen, our timeline is about five hours long. We need to go now for hoping to get any strike on Gale. All right, let's go. No offense, but can this thing go uh, any Come on. Real offense. I am. Stun no, General Three. I fell over. All right, Shoot. Three. What do we do? I don't go know about you guys, okay, but I, I hear, hear voices. Again. Anyone want to go oh, check that out? I guess I will. Oh, boy. Cole, Cole, you don't have to do this, all right? You don't have to work with her. No. 
that's a pretty nice car you have Listen, there. Listen, don't do anything. It don't might do well if it became a shiny. Listen, we're just, we're just traveling around. We're just traveling around, okay? Mm, so Please. why is he standing right over there watching? Uh, somebody does anybody have abilities? See, this is why I told you guys to stay, but you don't listen to me. You guys act like wild animals and make sound like this. Do you even have any empathy at all? I don't even know what that is. No! What the heck is your problem? Okay, that's it. Bye bye. Wait, wait. All right. No, 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 no. No! I'll oh, shoot you. <sighs> Ah, what the heck? Is that supposed to hurt? It just bounced right off! My turn now. Ah, ah, ah! He's too strong! Alright. Are you gonna come quietly? Yes. I uh, won't have to hurt you if yes, you do. I understand. Come on, there's a lot of food. You're not gonna wanna get hungry. Guys, yeah, I'm right. going to lose it. Yeah, I don't I blame you, Red. We keep getting pummeled over and over again. Yeah. It's his location. Yeah. When Greybird comes back and the rest of the flock, we are moving locations. Oh, I don't care God. what Greybird says. I really don't care. I really, really, really don't care. I don't care. I'm tired of this. Cardinal, you're making me nervous. I really don't like it. Please stop. All right, you can calm down. Yeah, don't right worry. Now. This doesn't get stirring. You're fine. This has nothing to do with you, Ari. I'm not gonna burst! Oh my god. Someone go rub his back. Um, uh, I will. Joe, what were you saying now? We've lost uh, We lost Silver. We don't know where half of our flock is, and you haven't okay, even okay. addressed listen, it. Listen, listen. Stella's Stop going, going on us! Be quiet, boys! Stella is going, coming back, okay? She was just doing something with her friend. She's gonna come back with Oh her yeah, friend, then how do you explain okay? why she was gone for so long? Silver, I don't know. Gray and Mighty Eagle should be back soon, okay? Red, you don't think that Silver left the flock again, right? Uh, I don't know what that means. I don't understand. What now? I was just trying to sing a Disney song to Ice, and he didn't understand. Wait, old Disney or modern Disney? Why oh, yeah, not both? Ah! Oh, you're you're an absolute fool, Melody. Melody I, I only must like the old one. Disney. You're only allowed to pick but one. But I like both. Those notes that she was talking about, it had a melodic tone to it. I don't like it. You tempted me. What? You witch. Okay, guys, please just calm down. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Red, red, red. Just please calm down for one day. Okay, Red, we're listening. Too much. Where the hell is Gray? I need him back immediately. I thought you said he was on some sort of trip. Is that correct? Yeah, right? I thought you just said that like moments ago. Yeah, hey. Yes, I said Gray is gone, but I want to know when he's going to be back with the Mighty Eagle. Because, God, this is taking a long time. Red, you shouldn't have to be waiting for him. In the meantime, you need to tell us when should we move? Because this is anarchy. How? Oh, shoot. We move. <laughs> I say we are going to move. I heard all that, Red. I have a problem. That problem has nothing to do with Okay, me. Red, get to the point! Okay, we'll start from the basics. Chuck is one of the only people that were able to achieve their form, okay? Yeah, with hard work, too. Master of the form, I should have said. Because I'm wrong, you all, most of you actually have achieved the form. Wait, but what? Chuck has mastered his form with the oh, yesterday. Congratulations, Chuck! Yeah, great job! Yeah, Chuck, oh, congratulate yourself. Oh, great. Anyway? Bomb, I want to train you. Wait, guys. really? I feel like you're the closest one to being able to master it again. Oh, thank you, Red. I have a list, and we're going to go down at one at a time, okay? That's how I should have been doing it from the start, from which I apologize. Hey, Red, at least you're owning up to your mistakes. Melody, I don't talk to people that like nudists. Oh. I should kick you off the flock now. Wait, no, but she's now. my friend. Before I sleep, she sings me lullabies. She just said sleep, but didn't you yesterday you said you didn't know what sleep was? She taught me how to sleep. Right, I'm getting a little uncomfortable hearing his voice. I've also been noticing a really toxic smell. Toxic? Wait, what do you mean? It's smelly. Huh? Very smelly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've been smelling it too? When I've been trying to read my manga, I've been smelling a really disgusting uh, odor. Guys, it's probably just Terrence or Bob. No, it's... no, no, no. Hey, I've been taking showers. It's definitely you. Shut up. Or it's Terrence. Shut up. You're grounded. You can't ground us, Uncle Mom. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Mom. You're right. I've been smelling a... 
a skunk lately. Skunk? What? We don't, we don't get those in the bamboo forest. Wait, what did you just say? Skunk. Just don't say that name. And what? Just don't say that name! But with that aside, pigs have been attacking us a lot, lot more recently. It's been daily, actually. We start That's with Boba Fett and Shaman. I'm only scared for what's next. That's why the minute Earl comes, we're talking. I can promise you guys, we're going to move locations right That's today. why we need Ren, a true leader of this flock. In the meantime, Chuck, Bomb, please go find Silver. Absolutely. Uh, of course, Ren, anything. Guys, I'm gonna go get Gray. What about Stella? Oh, uh, Stella, she's fine, I know she's fine. Mm, interesting. There's so much stress, I can't be- Ah! 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 Was that? That was pretty easy, if I'm being honest. I heard stories that that cardinal is supposed to be strong, but he just seems like an utter wimpy coward. All for the purpose of serving this kingdom. I know this flock was meant to be better. Our leader's knocked out for good. Who are you? Lambo. We heard stories about you. Stay away from all flock. What? No, please. I'm I'm gonna not listen to a single one of you, so here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna shut your lips and listen to me! You are going to give me those aids willingly, or I'm gonna take it by force, and I'm gonna start breaking your bones one by one, starting with those three children. Like string cheese on a hot summer day. Oh, oh he threatened her! Oh, you need to do something! How can I do anything? Eat him! Oh, that won't work. I did research on everything single one of you by the time I was getting here. I know your strengths, weaknesses, I know all of your battle history! Let's we'll start with that Cardinal, and huh, shall we? He is empathetic, he cares only about his friends, and that leaves a big, weak hole on top of it! That's the greatest weakness of all, and I intend to atone for that! And you, you dumb lab rat, you're coming back to this kingdom whether you like it, or you're in pieces. Uh, do something! <laughs> child or these that haven't even been born yet tell me uh, uh, 
You can have the eggs, just please don't hurt any of them. Shut up, Empathy, like that, because you know where. I'll gladly be taking each one. Then we can end this whole damn war in the first place. Go back to your little birdie island, go back to your stupid court judges, and tell your damn judge Peckapaw I said hi. <laughs> To be honest, I should have brought the whole package. The nest would have been great as well. This war is over! I finally have the- <laughs> What is this feeling? Wait, I gotta check the balls. Fear! Wait, if he's not moving, he's frozen! Guys, do it! <laughs> Ever since, since me. What? I am going to kill you. What the hell was that? I'm like, oh my, and that old shaman incident. I am giving you the scar you gave me on my forehead. The whole reason why my voice is like this. And to be honest, I'm glad I gave you that shot. What's this feeling? Stop! No, never, not until you. <laughs> Smoke cheeks! Smoke cheeks! King! Lord, help me! You are not escaping. By the power of the dummy you've been sending me, I now bid you guilty. What happened to everything? Why has everything gone dark? What's happening? Wait. No. You see it, don't you? The 0.1% power I put inside you. What the? He knows when you're sleepy. He knows when you're awake. He goes by the G's, man, or you will not be awake. He is the one above all. Now pray your last breath. Always, you decide his fate. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're dead. You almost killed you. Yeah. <laughs> Never come back to the top. Yeah. What happened? Why is it all right? <laughs> oh dear, how you long? Here, let me go get you some bandages. <laughs> You don't look that bruised. I know you're gonna be fine. Uh, Joe, Joe, wake up, Joe! Oh no, no, no! They're knocked out. No, Greg, get over here. You okay? What is uh, wrong with you? What do you mean? Arnold, are always all late. Arnold, you always you're leave angry. us. All now. You're always there late. Hey. After everyone's defeated. Arnold, After someone. I don't even know Joe or Hal is dead. Don't move. I think Hal is his lung. Don't move. Oh, <laughs> we're doing that now, huh? That we're not moving, huh? Red. Red. And just what? He's gonna come back tomorrow. Red, Jay Gardner, you listen to me right now. 
Do I need to kick you off my flock? Red, I was part of a flock once. All right. <laughs> Red, stop it. No move. Now. No move. Red. 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 <laughs> Red, please listen to me now. <laughs> 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 You never have. You never will. We will never understand each other. You are a My voice! It, it's not croaky! What do you do? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm sorry! Why did I do this? Cardinal, I I'm shouldn't sorry. have pushed you this far. Why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to move because I thought of this as a training experience. That if you would stay in one location, nothing would have happened. How you could unlock your key and your power. That's why I didn't want you to move, and I'm sorry. I should never have put you that far. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I'm begging you. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Red. No. I never wanted this to happen. I did not want to end up like him. I just did not want to be him. I should never have pushed you that far. Who's him? That, that's a different story for a different day. You are a chosen one. Please forgive me. That's all I ask for. Forgiveness. Red, look! Would you look at that? What happened? We were gone for five minutes. What on earth just happened? Red, look, sweaty, are you okay? Well, this doesn't look good. Not a good time, not a good time, Fred. Fred, I haven't seen you for a long time. This is really Miss Adam? Huh? Fred, it's not my fault. What on happened? Boba Fett did the same he came back. No, guys, this is not Boba Fett. He was a problem, but we were able to deal with him. Oh my god, he really did it, didn't he? No. <sighs> Smoochie's really is mad. He is. <laughs> Smoochie's pulled the hammer bone to call, didn't he? He unleashed Hambo upon you all. Who is Hambo? Um, why don't we all group up together and have a conversation about this? Even I know what this is, and it's pretty serious. Doctor, you look irritated. Cherry, my wonderful experiment and faithful bodyguard, I am absolutely fine. Things just don't seem that right with me today, but then again, nothing ever does. I'm only concerned for your well-being. You made me who I am. And I'm glad that I did. You're my most faithful servant, if you will. I actually came to meet that uh, Mudbeard fella. Uh, Smooch Cheeks gave me explicit permission to go speak to him about stuff regarding certain experiments and liquidation on the kingdom. Since he's going to be back in business being king in about a week or so, uh, I need to take away all of his personal belongings so he doesn't try anything iffy again. Do you understand? By nodding by your head, it means you understand. Good, now my time is great time. Follow me. Anyway, besides all the... Here's what's going to happen. You're going to give me all of my finance and money back. You're going to give me my past near experiments. And you're going to be giving me explicit permission to go back to the flock and get back my darling patient Zero. <laughs> Do you understand me? Are you going to listen to me or are we going to be having another problem where you end up in a bunch of slabs and pieces and you become my experiment? You sure you want to make that move? From my eye of sight, it kind of looks like you're having a childish tantrum right now. Shut up! Stay back! You two, get back away, you failed experiment! That's what's gonna happen. 
Give me back my money. Now! I don't think you understand. Pisha Zeros needs me. He needs me now. Screw the line. Not to be in the code. It never mattered. It never, ever mattered. Me being on my best and good little behavior was a front. A fake. I never cared about this kingdom. I never even cared about Ross or that stupid king in the first place. All I cared about was my night's work. So either you abide by it, or we're going to be having a very, very bad problem. Okay, password is 267. 1245. 2009. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, for being your apprentice way back then, you always did find a way to hear me out now, did you? No, this is going to be different. While Smoochies is going out fighting some horrible queen. Meanwhile, I get to make my grand move. I don't care who watches me, whether it be Big Borg, Grievous, any event. At least now I can finally reclaim all of my work. Finally, I can go down into history as the greatest pig who ever lived. The pig that single-handedly ended this war. And to y'all, I bid thee adieu, for this might be the last time we'll ever be seeing each other's faces again. And do give the kings my regards. Tell him this exact message. Tell him he is a fat, oafless fool who couldn't even raise a family right, who doesn't even know what he's ruling in the first place, and the only purpose he has is being a nice, suckle up lord who mukbangs. It's time I finally end this for good. Oh, great. We're all screwed. Not my problem. Well, come on, Cherry. Move those shiny cheeks. After months and months of traveling, I'm finally here. I can see that cube shine, just like how he was when I first saw it. Some of those members in that flock look weakened. Perfect. And this world's all about strength and power. And today will be the day I show that. It's time for a new age of extraterrestrial birds, all ruled by me.